Hey YouTube, it's uh, Saturday the 6th of October and I've had a quick break today from work. I uh, popped into Syston um, and found a, a steering wheel which I'll tell you about later. Uh, first game I've got uh, for my pickups video today is for the Sega Saturn and this is actually one I got for free off um, Craig known as uh, Minx36 on YouTube. Uh, Super Robot Wars F. So. Thank you very much Craig for this. Um, I've got a PAL Saturn so obviously I'm not sure if that will, this will work on it so if you guys can let me know um, how I'll be able to play that, this game on, on my uh, PAL Saturn. If there's a disc or action replay card or something I can use or if I just have to buy a Japanese Saturn to play this on. So yeah that's the, um, the uh, CD case. So obviously there's a disc inside. Very good condition. There's a little note there from Craig and there's a little leaflet in here. Uh, software Information Volume 1 for the Sega Saturn. So Daytona USA, uh, Panzer Dragoon, all sorts in there, Virtual Highlight, Rampo, Pebble Beach Golf, V-Goal, Band Battle, baseball game there, Shinobi. So that's quite a nice item. Something there, I don't know what it is. I don't speak that language. There's a little bit of something there and obviously the instructions. So that's actually my first um, import Sega Saturn game so that was nice to get hold of for free, thank you very much. Uh, next we've got um, an Xbox game. I got it brand new and sealed from Xbox for about £3 called Cold War. Now the only problem is I didn't realise at the time it's actually an NTSC game. So this won't play on my PAL Xbox. Again, if you guys know of any way I can play this on my Xbox, uh, if you can let me know if I can do any kind of mod to it, uh, uh, ideally a soft mod, not one where I have to um, hard mod the, um, the actual hard drive or anything like that. Well, the mother motherboard, sorry. But yeah, if, if I can't play this on my PAL, um, I'll just um, put it up as a swaps and buy a PAL version. Our next one is... Um, Haunting Ground for the Sony PlayStation 2. This is brand new and sealed off of eBay and this came to £13.58. Um, I basically got this one because I was watching some YouTube videos on uh, scary uh, top 20 scariest games ever and this is one of the ones that came up and it looked really good so uh, looking forward to playing this one. Yeah, it's a one player game and it was released in um, 2005. It's by Capcom and you're basically a um, Fiona uh, who wakes up from, from a car crash um, to face something far worse. Um, she's being held prisoner in a gothic castle filled with horrors. Bloody experiments are taking place in secret laboratories. Uh, demented monsters and sinister psychopaths stalk the corridors. What do they want with Fiona? To trick her? To trap her? To kill her? Can you help Fiona escape the haunting grounds? So check this out on YouTube. It uh, looks really good and I'm looking forward to playing that one. And this is the one, is the wheel I mentioned earlier. Um, I literally went into uh, the mine today and I saw this on the shelf. I thought, oh, just another um, gaming steering wheel. I just pass, usually pass them off, but I just happened to see the connector on the end and that was an unmistakably um, Xbox. So I've been after an Xbox steering wheel for I don't know how long, so it's really nice to find this one. It feels really responsive. It's got a vibration feedback, so and it's got the pedals as well. So this was just five pounds, um, which I thought was quite a good bargain. Uh, it's by Logitech, obviously you can see on the front. And yeah, I'm looking forward to using that. It feels really sturdy, and it's a nice size. So yeah, that's my gaming pickups for the day. Uh, no doubt we're back next week um, when I pop back to Leicester uh, to visit my usual jaunt, uh, jaunt at Game World. Thanks, guys. See you soon.